Are you tired of listening to German language all day long? Don't you just want to get your news and topics presented in English, even though you live in Germany? Then here's your solution. Yeah! <laughs> Elephant in the Room, an English radio show where we discuss things that people tend to ignore. Tune in on Color Radio on 99.3 and 98.4 every second and fourth Monday of the month. Elephant in the Room, a radio show by the Black Rose Radio Collective from Dresden. Hate Mondays. Be organized. Stay cool. All right. Welcome back to the Color Radio. And we are, again, the second week of the month um, on the waves. And today we are having a conversation with a friend from France, a country that is now on the seventh place uh, among the cases um, for coronavirus. Fun fact. Yeah. One second. I have to turn on your microphone. Now you can say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So um, we are going to talk a lot about different things because France is big and there are a lot of troubles there. Um, I mean, relatively big, right? Um, not comparable to Kazakhstan, for example. Um, anyway, we are going to talk a lot about different topics and um, we are going to have a lot of fun, I hope. For sure. Definitely. Okay. So cool that you're here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, maybe we can kind of start a little bit general like how i mean you are here right now even so you're from france Ooh. <laughs> how is that possible <laughs> um it's possible but not so easy like there is control on the um um borders Uh, in the train, for example, like the police con control. Last week, the police controlled the papers. And if you don't have any reason to be to ger in Germany, you can step out of the, of the train. Like people um, had to get out of the train when, when they don't have any reason. But so it's not so easy to cross borders. Um, well, I mean, yeah. It's a, it's a it's general always, problem. It's general problems, but uh, but somehow the Europeans figure out yeah, that there are borders now, and fuck, we have yeah, to cross really, them. Yeah, it's really it's really interesting that um, yeah to figure out in real what it's that for most of people in the world. Um, but in France, it's not so easily it's so easy like in Germany. It's a bit tougher for other in, so in Paris. Uh, It's very much more um, repression and much more present in our uh, daily life. Um, but I think the realities are also um, others. I mean, it's not the same. Those victims and the and the repressions really, yeah. There is here a demonstration to say the coronavirus doesn't exist. But in France, you cannot say, hey, it doesn't exist. There is thousands of people just dying and not all just the old person, all the people uh, working in the hospital, on the bus, in the supermarkets. And it's also like, yeah, it's here. So it's a bit complicated to say it just doesn't exist. Um, I don't know if there is if we go more deep in repression or in good news or I don't know which uh, we we like the bad news. I mean, <laughs> the, the, bad the news good news first. are just for for some positive media. Well, we can start with the bad news and later on come to the good news. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, that's so. Um, right, but for me, um, also interesting. How come does it does it have this huge difference um, between Germany and France? What, what can be your thoughts? I mean, Germany was also locking down everything pretty much the same way as France. And there were a lot of troubles here as well with the police um, for the people. And before this hygiene demos, there, there, there mm. were um, a lot of things not happening on the streets. Um, so how come in France the, 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 the thing exploded more than actually in Germany? 
Well, I think it's interesting to see how Spain and Italy and France, all the three, like really um, fucked it up. But I think there is also a reason why Germany does not, why, I mean, I think there is more money are in Germany. And this is the reason why in Italian, Spain, and France, there's not so much. I mean, Italian, Spain is like, sure. And in France, it's for sure are this politic uh, system, which uh, um, the 10 years before just fucked up all the hospital system. Um, and there is that... That's why all, there is also strikes and demonstration for so long are in hospital for 10 years. They are just saying, hey, it's not going to work and it's, we are dying. And then it's the proof. So the um, medical system is just dying. So I think it's one reason. Um, there is no, I mean, no money. There is money, but not where they sh where it should be for the test. We didn't have any test in Germany. I think there was a little bit more, but in France there was absolutely not test. You couldn't be tested if you have anything. The I mean, the the doctors just say yes, yeah, stay at home. But many few people have been tested, and um, at the very beginning, we were absolutely sure that Paris just in January already. A complete a cluster with like so so many people because a region a region um, near Paris were contracting many many people and we just ignore it and just we we knew at, till the beginning it was really big and the political just lie it was sure so I think also the people just don't have any information. I don't know if in Germany the people get a little bit more information and responsibility, but in France, absolutely not. I mean, they were just like kids and you have to, um, yeah, do it on your own and just listen to what the government said. I think it's also that people were just not informed what they had to do. Well, in, in Germany, you can get information on Bill Gates and the, the, all the crazy, the, the, how to wear the aluminum hats yeah. and all the stuff. Yeah. Um, and it was the same, actually. Like here, for example, a lot of local medias closed the news on coronavirus behind the paywall. Mm. Although before it was not, I mean, now you go to the website and it's completely paywalled, yeah. like every news. And before it was not such a case. And it seems like this was kind of a response to the situation where Okay, now we can't sell the newspapers in the magazine in the mm. in the shops, so we're going to close any everything and hope that somebody will buy um, the things. And that's why the information here was also critically limited. So mm. people got news about Bill Gates, but they didn't get the news about what the fuck is going on in the city. Yeah, because I mean, you can read it only on the like the bureaucratic website, like mm. the official ones, where you have this. I don't know publication application. I don't know how you have to a call PDF it. file. <laughs> and then it's like a whole, like this language nobody could understand. Yeah, like this real true. bureaucratic language. Um, I tried to figure out if I could visit my grandma or not. Mm. And I tried to read the recent paper for the 15th of May. And I just didn't get it. I read it and I didn't get it if it's okay or not. And I uh, have to admit, I was at the university. But it didn't help me to understand this. And also at the beginning... There were no translation, or actually it's right now the same, there were no translation mm. into other languages. Yeah. So most of the people who did not understand German were not actually able to access any reasonable information about the whole shit. Yeah. And, and Macron, was he the, the uniting power in for the country? Because here, I mean, it was really funny. Angela Merkel had her kind of a podcast where she was doing the videos or something like that and uh, talks about how she feels and you know, like a typical German things, talking about jokes and life goes on and things like that. Did, did something like that happen in France? Um, he was um, still, he had this king attitude that he always have. And he's still going on in this, we are going to fight it together and this united nation, blah, 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 that it's really is going on. And they always um, said we are in, in um, war. That was his word, and we have to be united, like the example for yeah, being united. 
against the same enemies. But I think at the beginning you had most like um, gay win points in any way. I don't know how, but the way it has been um, managed is really shame. A shame and I think there is a lot of contradiction with the minister at the beginning they were saying it's not a problem it's like a flu and there is no epidemic it's always be it's all, all in under un, under control and then one weeks later it was like war um, so I think there is no credit anymore in this government at like less. And we saw all the mask scan scandal mm. um, that they were saying there is no, there is mask for everyone. Or at the beginning, they were saying you don't have to wear it because it's not, you don't have to. And then you can't go out without, mm. like in, in public transport and so on. So they were just absolutely not coordinating. And it was just laugh, ridiculous. And I think it's not such a good point for them right now. And talking about the politicians, the the right wing, I mean, the what was the, the, the name of this ultra right? Le Pen. Le Pen, yeah. Um, did they try to some kind of uh, somehow to benefit on the whole situation or it didn't actually somehow change at all? That's kind of weird because we didn't hurt not uh, we didn't hurt anything coming from her from this part and I think in a way she doesn't have to do anything they are just sabotage themselves mm. like a, on her on their own they are just doing so I mean it's a shitty situation but they are just don't doing anything good so she doesn't as the left, right wing doesn't say much thing about it okay not I think I mean, what what I heard Um, yeah. I, I think here it also just actually popped up now because before also like here after they didn't have any points they more rather more did really stupid things and so they were not really in the in the media or if so they were more in the negative points but now with this hygiene demonstration they're mm. trying to yeah to get some points and, and bill gates and forced in injections in your blood and <laughs> I don't know what kind of crazy things they have there. I, I don't mean, know. 5G is the But same. But for sure, I think for sure this general criticism on all the, um, the how do you call it, measurements? No. How the, yeah. All the measurements. Restrictions. Restrictions where didn't make any sense. So, I mean, this just doesn't make any sense to say this right now. Mm. But this is what they're saying right now. Yeah. And the masks, like the masks is the biggest thing right now in Germany that everybody hates. They they say that this is I like a, a like a dog, uh, I don't know how to call this thing But the thing dog in have English. in front mm. of their mouth that they are not allowed oh, yeah, to yeah, bite. Yeah, yeah. To, okay, yeah, yeah. And they call it Merkel, this one. Okay. So because Merkel told us we have to we wear have to, it. Okay. And for them, this is this kind of sim symbol. I was in the supermarket. <laughs> I was in the supermarket. Um, there was a guy with the mask and then he had a sign on his mask and there was written Merkel, this thing oh, for the dogs. I don't know how you call wow. it. Basket, yeah. biting mm. basket or I don't know. Yeah, a bit weird for sure. Whoa. And it escalates crazy way. I mean, <laughs> there was this uh, a Russian gang in German supermarket who, I mean... They spoke a little bit of German, but they didn't speak so much of German. But they also didn't want to wear the mask. And they had a statement written in German. So the, 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 the supermarket um, uh, workers called the cops. The cops came and said, like, you have to put the mask. And they're like, no, we're not putting the mask. This is our political. We are like free people in the free country. Um, and then it escalates to the point where they are just basically beating the cops Whoa. Because the cops tried to push them out of the supermarket. And um, I think one cop got broken nose and the other one was like traumatized by the whole thing that happened. You know, the crazy Russians are coming back and attacking <laughs> poor Germans. I mean, the, 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 the third world war lost by the Germans in the supermarket. Um, yeah, so those things are escalating really crazy. 
Yeah. Um, okay, we will make a pause. Today we have um, a band, a French band, to kind of uh, contribute into the the, the Frenchness of this show. Um, it's called Collective Marirette. So kind of an anarchist, anti-fascist, not kind of an anarchist, anarchist and anti-fascist um, hip-hop um, crew uh, from, I have no idea which part of France they are, but they sound like they're from Marseille, for sure. <laughs> Sur quelle rive, Mina, la verra, Mina. Sur quelle rive, ah. sur quelle rive, ouais. Sur quelle rive, Uboy conscient, 2007. Sur quelle rive, Attendre que ce monde change, c'est un peu comme traverser un océan pirogue, c'est comme espérer les archanges. Elle retoque le filet à ce fog, plus d'un époque. Entre la grange et la centrale, est perdue dans les eaux du Gange. Des tonnes de matières infernales, ouais, ça fait mal de voir qu'une ère est révolue. Comme les trois quarts des histoires de viol qui ne seront jamais résolues, c'est peut-être normal que l'Afrique stable, choléra et palue. Pendant que la côte californienne se construit sur Silicon Avenue. Et l'avenue du Messie, engoncée dans une armure de métal, se fera à coup de charnier. Et l'incendie dans les dédales des capitales, ouais, c'est létal. De mettre à la tête du monde un putain d'estropié Cérébral, à brevet de forme, elle est formale, une du quatre dans un bocal, et que ce soit local, ou bien plus large, tout ce qui se passe nous dépasse. La corruption au simple cas, c'est cette meuf qui peut pas vivre sans faire 20 passes pendant que ça brasse. Des kilos de dope, des kilos de liasse. Alors sans dé, on s'organise Cherche la faille, cherche la crise Qui fout l'essence dans les flammes Qui attise Qui attise Qui a la crise pour satisfaire Ça crame loin des ministères Alors on tente que de choses arrivent C'est l'antimonde et c'est notre rêve Sans délai, on s'organise Cherche la faille, cherche la crise Qui fout l'essence dans les flammes Qui attise Qui attise Qui a la crise pour satisfaire Ça crame loin des ministères Alors on tente que de choses arrivent C'est comme une ligne droite en plein mur Comme des hommes, les yeux bandés le long d'un mur C'est une réalité pleine de souillures, des chefs Fou et immature, on envoie des armées Expliquer la liberté avec des chars et des missiles Ouais c'est ça la démocratie, buter des gosses et des civils Et pour maintenir la démographie, mariage forcé, viol en famille Chaque bout de pouvoir donne ses leçons Et comme l'histoire se répète de toute façon Nos villes sont des forts contrefaçons Diversion et créative, un zénith signant L'apocalypse culturel, pas de réponse proactive Pas de limite à leur plan structurel Ils ont bien compris que l'humain est un mouton il n'a rien appris à part obéir au maton Un salon, un sofa, un écran de télévision Au sommet de l'aliénation, l'information est devenue Un produit de consommation, désolation dans les non-lieux Cérébraux cathodiques, mais pas non-lieu Pour les révoltes périphériques, c'est mauvais De voir que la vie se remplit de vide, c'est mauvais De croire un jour au déicide, au déicide. Alors sans dé, on s'organise Cherche la faille, cherche la crise Qui fout l'essence dans les flammes Qui attise Qui attise Qui a la crise pour satisfaire Ça crame loin des ministères Alors on tente que de choses arrivent C'est l'antimonde et c'est notre rêve Sans délai, on s'organise Cherche la faille, cherche la crise Qui fout l'essence dans les flammes Qui attise Qui attise Qui a la crise pour satisfaire Ça crame loin des ministères Alors on tente que de choses arrivent Et l'esprit embrumé comme un réveil de bacchanal Après que tout soit bien échauffé On sort les cadavres du canal Enfin ce qu'il reste L'ordre mondial est cannibale, l'important reste d'écraser depuis les légions d'Hannibal Et que soient les hommes, les femmes, les animaux, les glaces, les forêts, les eaux Attaquer et piller les darts, ouais, c'est l'histoire de cette triste humanité Toujours en quête de pouvoir et de putain à gaspiller et grappiller Des morceaux de terre, des monceaux de gloire, mais toutes ces statues sanctifiées Qui ne font que défier sont illusoires, les illusions elle aime en être abreuvée, cette masse soumise Qui aime les chefs en crever, les sous qu'elle mise Sont toujours sur ce qui fonctionne la liberté Car elle ne fonctionne qu'à la matraque et au bracelet embarrassé De faire constat, j'aurais pu naître mais non je crois pas Même si c'est clair que les langues de pute diront que je parle de ce que je sais pas La ligne de conduite reste là, on s'organise Parce que son père a envie de tomber Au premier combat, quand on se battra Et si on se bat alors sans dé, on s'organise Cherche la faille, cherche la crise Qui fout l'essence dans les flammes Qui attise Qui attise Qui a la crise pour satisfaire Ça crame loin des ministères Alors on tente que de choses arrivent C'est l'antimonde et c'est notre rêve Sans délai, on s'organise Cherche la faille, cherche la crise Qui fout l'essence dans les flammes Qui attise Qui attise Qui a la crise pour satisfaire Ça crame loin des ministères Alors on tente que de choses arrivent Je 
qui habitent en vie dedans. All right, we're back and we are talking about the situation with coronavirus in France right now. We have a friend who is giving us a really detailed overview of the horrors that are happening on the streets of Paris right now. Um, it's, as it was told, it's a war. It's a war <laughs> that is um, against invisible enemy. Mm. I think almost like in the Red Scare and all the... The green scare. No, the green scare, red scare, black scare. Um, no, the the uh, fact that times with the Soviet Union was still there. The Cold War, ah, the Cold, Cold War. War, also invisible enemy. They were all all around. I think it's almost the same. Um, right, and we were talking a little bit about what is going on and the politics and so on. Um, however, we didn't touch the topic of how is it going on the streets. I mean, Dresden right now is pretty. Easy going. I mean, if you go to Neustadt, you can see that there are actually people sitting in the bars and drinking mm. beer and love their whatever Germanity. Um, but what is going on in France, like uh, on the streets, actually? Uh, so on the elves, 11th, 11th. elves, <laughs> 11th of May, um, the lockdown or just not lockdown anymore, but it's just a little bit um, lower and milder <laughs> um, and there was still two there is a car, um, map of France and there is two or three colors if you're in a um, um, red region um, Paris and the, the east of France then it's really bad because <laughs> it's like the um, hospital are still in a very bad uh, situation there is no no place anymore, no bed anymore, and this it's still under emergency, and the virus still continues as there, still there, and then orange is like I don't know a middle, and green is very, like in minutes okay the people are just pretty normal there, <laughs> no but it's like the situation is better, and so in a certain region you can do more and in other less. The, the school in the green region are uh, open now, but in the red region they are still closed, for example. So it's different in part of France. Uh, you can not go further as 100 kilometers out of your um, département, so the, the, the region you, you live in. Administrative. Administrative, if you don't have any reason for. Uh, so it's 100 kilometers still, well, you can... If you have to do something, it's fine. But if you have to, you, you can go visit someone super, <laughs> I don't know, super weit weg. Um, and which which is still, there is still um, a health emergency um, situation, but the, for the politic um, situation, which allowed, for example, more, power for the justice and for the police it's still that um, in march and it's uh, be still july i think um there was also some drone who in the street who were just watching everything and saying if you are in the street there is a voice who said you have to go home you don't have to stay in the street there was in some street in montpellier i think and somewhere else And, and it have been cancelled because the constitutional blah, blah, blah. I don't know which parliament say that, but it's say, okay, it's a bit too far. Like the robots, the robots are not allowed yet to control the population. Yes, not. But uh, it's, I mean, there, there was in a few, few weeks it, it happened in some street and in Paris as well. Um, yeah. That's the point. But the bars and the restaurant are still closed and the cinema as well. And I don't know which, but the cultural life is not there. The, the people are gathering outside, but you can't be more as a 10 person gathering. So, I mean, the demonstration is not allowed. People are doing anyway, but it's not allowed. And... and um, yeah, I've, I've actually read today that there is a the scandal with Macron with Macron scandal, right? Because they allowed to open some theme park, like an entertainment park. 
Oh yeah. But they are still not allowing to the to open theaters and so on and so forth. Mm. So this is. Uh, of course, it's outside. Maybe. You can make theater outside. No, as well. the theme park. Oh, the so theater theater park, outside. Yeah. Yeah. But it's yeah. still something like touristic, and it's this, the only park which is oh, uh, allowed to be all, is uh, it open. Is Disneyland? Puy du, no, Puy du Fou. <laughs> it's like in the middle of France, and I read somewhere that it's owned by I don't know which rich people and it's like a gift to the right left of them mm. conservative right left people there but normally it's not it's just an exception because parks and every big garden in paris and in in the red area in france are still close i mean in paris you can go in parks but you can go to supermarket mm. that's important yeah shopping and the, the seas important. as well i i mean the beach in some region you can't go to the beach mm -hmm. Okay. And in the re green area, you can go somewhere if the mayor uh, allowed it. And, uh, but you have to be in a dynamic situation. You just can't lying on the beach. You have to do something on the beach. Move your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this ridiculous thing we know here as well. Like um, There were rules, for example, that you are allowed to go for a walk in the park. Mm. But you are not allowed to sit on the bench in the park. Yeah, kind of. Then later on comes the rule that you're not allowed to walk more than five kilometers away from your flat. And the same evening, they're allowing to go more than five kilometers away from your house, right? <clears throat> so all of this was um, kind of a rules that you were mentioning, the, the bureaucratic apparatus that creates those things and nobody knows how they work. And then comes the improvisation, which goes mm -hmm. crazy. So... Going further with the sitting on the bench, right? Then later on they said, okay, you can sit on the bench and read the book. But you can't sit on the bench and don't read the book. <laughs> you can stand next to the bench, but you are not allowed just to sit on the bench. And you are not allowed to sit on the bench next to the person. Mm. You're not allowed to sit on the grass. Maybe tomorrow you're allowed. And it didn't look like they had any kind of a concept in their head which would be, okay, we are not allowing this and this to happen because of this and that. More like, we're going to forbid everything, and then we are going to have a look what is working and what is not. And then we are going to allow things, and then disallow things, and so on and so forth. Yeah, and I think for the police, it was like really a yeah, interesting moment. So they got a lot of um, possibilities, and they also used it. And there were regions where people even end up in prison, for one or two weeks because they were sitting on the bench and the, with the book in the park and they did it twice. Mm. So the cops thought, okay, this person should think about his behavior and then they put him in prison. And they actually made like a, like a communique which they published online, which they said, uh, where they said, okay, we are actually putting this person in prison without the court. So there was no court decision. There are like... Um, uh, Well, the new police laws are actually allowing the, the cops to put people into the jail without the court prosecution up mm. to three months, I think, in, in, in the place. And in this communique, they wrote, we are putting this person so he can think about his behavior. This is kind of a really fascinating, I think. How's that in democracy. France, actually? How's the police going up? Okay. Nice. I mean, we have the <laughs> nicest police. I mean, yeah. I mean, you used no. to have the police state already, you know, like... I've before, heard the Icelandic cops are better. Before Sorry. Corona started, I think the period when you did not have this emergency state was not so long, right? No. I, so you're used to police state. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, this exception that arrive, um, that the people just get arrested for any kind of thing. It's just happened, I don't know, a thousand times. And there is, you can read and. Uh, every day something which happened which is just like absurd uh, so the police had power um, more than ever and the worst is always in the in the place where the people just um, uh, live this this police violence every day like in in the pop um, popular um, in the banlieues but also like in Where the people are get lived, um, yeah. How do we say it? Popular um, court here. Mm -hmm. How do you say it? I'm not well, sure what it doesn't mean. Public li housing. Ah, public housing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
No, I mean the 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 banlieues in Paris. It's a quartier populaire and something like, and yeah, but and uh, like poor neighborhood. Yeah, can we say <laughs> something like that? Um, yeah, there was thousand of um, cases. Uh, in, in general, there was twelve people who were um, murdered for, for the police in two months, which is like. Yeah, huge. Um, three were shot from the police. Five just dead, um, died in a um, police office. This custody. custody. Um, two were um, died after they were, the police pursued them, and two jumped out of the, out of the street in in the in the water because it was also the police pursued them. So it's like. Yeah, most of the people feared something because they didn't have any paper who justified their presence in the in the streets. So they had fear and used some, yeah, like try to save their life and 12 died. So it's like really, yeah, incredible. And there was a lot of um, um, people... I mean the 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 theme police violence is really coming out again. It's not the first time after all the demonstration it's already present but yeah there is um an act, an actress um who public, publicly say that she feared the police when when she saw the police and it's like a public it's a star in in France and every it was like a big thing that she told she said that so the the theme is like present we are talking about it's good <laughs> okay and like on the daily basis for example for you when you go outside did you get controlled in those days or would you experience like okay you're going on the street and there is like people controlled all around and it feels like a fucking occupation um, by the cops and so on and so forth um I've no, I've no, I I didn't been, I haven't been controlled, but I saw cops like a lot. But I've been in Paris, and then I've been somewhere else where there is like anyway not so much people, so it was easily there to be like to live peacefully, could we say? But in Paris there was there were cops everywhere. And also, during after one person died in, or not died actually, there were also the police um, um, injured someone uh, in the, in a night. Uh, it was in La Garenne, I think, or Varenne La Garenne, somewhere north of Paris, I think. Um, and after that, in several cities, there were um, revolt and uh, riots during nights and during the, those, this time um, helicopter mm -hmm. just uh, every day every night were over Paris and the cities around so it was kind of yeah okay but so there were still protests going on you yeah. already mentioned it before that there were still protests going yeah. on how can we imagine that so there was protest in the in those areas, um, and also during in in the hospital there was, I mean in the hospital the po the people working in, uh, the doctors the, and every infir infirmier like Krankenschwester, hmm, the um, staff, the nurses, the, the nurses yeah. and so were. Um, Uh, doing demonstrations so in the in the hospital and um, also three the th uh, last three Thursday there were also demonstration coming from outside so the people were gathering for um, beyond the hospital uh, the last big one was in Paris in Hôpital de Bray and it was um, there was thousands of um, Hundreds of people. It was quite good and quite big. Um, the police came, and I mean, it was 
the conditions, the situation is not so good for beating people. Um, <laughs> so, and there is it's not hard still, to come close. Right? It's hard to come close, and there mm. is anyway like not uh, enough space in the hospital, so it's not good timing. Um, so they don't, they didn't beat anyone, but uh, they arrest like um, 50s, 50 people around and three were arrested and get in, in not in jail but in police mm. uh, station and go to the tr uh, to a trial on Saturday it was on Thursday and they go on trial on on, on, on Saturday um, and they get some pay so they were I don't know they had something like a paper that they were doing wrong um, like a fine. A fine, mm -hmm. yeah. And But in all those cities, there was also quite a lot of demonstration. And the the message is always the same. We want, um, we want money for the hospital. It's always like the same thing. And the Gilets Jaunes demonstration uh, began as well in several cities till the 6th, 16th of May. It began again. And um, yeah. All right. And in some countries, they actually started releasing prisoners. Yeah. Um, to say, okay, yeah, the prisons are not actually conditioned for the epidemia. Um, what is going on in France with that? Yeah, it was also a big deal in, at the beginning. And the prison in France are over um, Crowd. crowded. And now there was a uh, fifteen percent lower, so we are under hundred percent full. I mean, <laughs> we were before over. Now it's a bit, a bit less. And there were eleven thousand five hundred people released, actually. So quite a lot. Um, yeah, and also because there was um, less people in the street, less people doing their life so less trial and less people coming in also and they get out people oh. okay and what were those people do you know i mean not personally okay my friend got out but more um <clears throat> was it like a minor offenses or they actually started releasing people who were connected for example with the political protests and things like that um i don't I think so. so most of them were people who uh, had like one month left or two months left and who just, I mean, okay, they said, okay, just a bit, um, not so, they, not, they don't stay such time. So they just say, we can't go home. <laughs> But I don't know where. Okay, cool. Um, we will make another music break and then we'll come back to you. Collectif Marie Red Des barbelés à perte de vue et des champs de mine Quelques pauvres types qui gardent avec quelques champs de ruines C'est juste une ligne qui sépare la même tribu Et assassine des nomades Une ligne pour amener un tribu Que pillage C'est 15 bornes de nana sur le trottoir Pour satisfaire les régions riches à quelques kilomètres d'écart Une ligne qui tranche un territoire Une ligne qui perpétue La guerre dans les mémoires C'est une mer et c'est noyé C'est marque à trou pour convoyer C'est mort Rejeté sur le rivage C'est le corps qui se sont pris Un mur dans le virage C'est la raison de vivre chaque état Motif de guerre Et d'engagement de soldats Des de peuples laissés en gage Frontières en héritage sans cesse Se répètent les mêmes adages. De la Grèce au Saroui, la liste est un infini lignage. En passant boucle carnage, l'homme est son pire bourreau, son propre preneur d'otage. Frontière morale, mentale et intérieure, frontière terrestre et de l'extérieur. Il a des armées marche pour répandre leur terreur. Dis-nous donc ce qu'on peut faire après 5000 ans d'erreur. Tout s'est tout élevé en masse sous des crapauds de fureur. Dans la conscience de l'autre, dans des modèles formateurs. Comme des prisons de classe, leurs frontières sont des leurs. On ne fera pas partie de leur force, on ne fera pas partie des leurs. Même si les frontières m'encerclent, je serai toujours un clandestin. Je prends je pas de drapeau et je n'en éprouve pas le besoin Au-delà de leurs barrières, mon regard se pose plus loin Espérer qu'un jour il n'y ait plus de pays, plus de gouvernement, plus rien Utopique mais j'aime rêver à cela De l'Europe au tropique sans avoir besoin d'un visa Le capital divise tout, c'est même son arme de combat Multiplier les horreurs, 
guerre, c'est son gilet par balles Tu vois tous les jours les mêmes guerres Pour les mêmes terres, les mêmes qui crèvent Et les mêmes qui enterrent Tout ça pour des aberrations géographiques Découpé à la règle un continent comme l'Afrique Souvent pour du fric et du pouvoir C'est vrai que c'est bien plus pratique de faire d'un pays un mouroir Piller ses richesses, le cul on s'en faut de sens mouvoir Et dire qu'on a fait tout ça sans le vouloir Frontière morale, mentale et intérieure Frontière terrestre et de l'extérieur Il lève des armées match pour répandre leur terreur Dis-nous donc ce qu'on peut faire après 5000 ans d'erreur Tout s'est tout élevé en masse sous des drapeaux de fureur Dans la conscience de l'autre dans des modèles formateurs Comme des prisons de classe, leurs frontières sont des leurs On fera pas partie de la force, on fera pas partie des leurs On est riche sans frontières en nous-mêmes Faut pas s'étonner que les états fassent de même Cette haine humaine putréfie l'humanité du microcosme au macrocosme Et il ne nous reste que des morts et des pleurs comme une osmose du malheur Un champ de chrysanthème, un mur de béton armé Trop de lignes de barbelés, on récolte ce qu'on sème Toutes ces erreurs, agriculture, dictature Mais dans nos cœurs ne coule aucun sang pur Les charters séparent pour un papier ou un tampon Les fils de leur mère, les filles de leur père Car les états ne considèrent que la nation Nationalisme, état de droit, douane ou fascisme Il n'y a qu'un pas, et perpétuellement ils remontent Les murs de la honte, elles s'en coulent Pas de happy end à la fin Ce compte seulement des corps éteints sous la houle Mental et intérieur, frontière terrestre, reine de l'extérieur Ils lèvent des armées match pour répandre leur terreur Dis-nous donc ce qu'on peut faire après 5000 ans d'erreur Tout s'est tout élevé en masse sous des drapeaux de fureur Dans la conscience de l'autre, dans des modèles formateurs Comme des prisons de classe, leurs frontières sont des leurs On fera pas partie de la force, on fera pas partie des leurs Frontière morale, mentale et intérieure Frontière terrestre, reine de l'extérieur Ils lèvent des armées match pour répandre leur terreur Dis-nous donc ce qu'on peut faire après 5000 ans d'erreur Tout s'est tout élevé en masse sous des drapeaux de fureur Fureur dans la conscience de l'autre, dans des modèles formateurs Comme des prisons de classe, leurs frontières sont des leurs On fera pas partie de la force, on fera pas partie des leurs Okay, welcome back. This was uh, Collective Marie Red, and we are talking about the epidemic of coronavirus in France and how the people are coping with it. With a friend from France who talks a lot, we figure out right now, or maybe not. No, no, it's okay that she talks a lot. The question was if you talk too much, but it's okay that she talks a lot because <laughs> she's here to talk about it. Yes, exactly. I okay. didn't say that this is a negative part. So everybody should enjoy this. Um, all right. So the last part of the show, um, we would like to talk actually about the social response to the coronavirus outside of the politics, outside of the state, um, how the people are actually reacting to it. And we would start with a really thing that somehow disturbs my soul, at least um, the people who are reporting other people to the police so the snitches um there was a, quite a big problem and i'm not sure if it's still there in germany that the people were calling cops and i personally know at least one group of people who were doing for example a sport outside and then in in inside of their garden right and then the cops uh, people called the cops and cops came and uh find everybody who was doing sport um, and it seemed like this was the hobby of the people who didn't have anything to do at home um, how was it in France actually um, I knew it's happened also I know it it, it happens um, I don't know for whole France and how it happened everywhere um, it depends also from the neighborhood I mean when you uh, lived every day uh, police violence so I know you won't call the cops <laughs> and it just happens um, but I know that in Lille at the beginning of the lockdown the people called too much the cops <laughs> that the cops has to say and to write a communique um, saying stop calling us we just can't um, respond everyone and uh, we just don't have the emergency like we we just can't respond it so that's the only thing I know okay. so the people were so responsible that they were calling yeah. every 10 seconds or something yeah. like that. 
Yeah. Uh, or maybe it was a tactic of sabotage, you know, like you I figure hope, out that your I neighbors hope. are calling the cops. What is your response <laughs> to <laughs> actually occupy the cops with other business that they can't come to you? <laughs> That's actually a good one, you know. Okay. And apart from that, how, um, or not apart from that, but more in the way like um, what you already mentioned, um, in which way people get organized to actually kind of, yeah, m go together through this whole um, situation, which was kind of new to everybody. And some people were more affected, of course, um, from the whole situation. And yeah, what are your experience? How did people get organized? Um, yeah, it was, it's always the same thing in part of France where I'm in the, in the, in the neighborhood uh, when you know your neighbors, uh, the people are just doing it that And I, I don't know if we say we're organized as a group or something. You just know that there is uh, in someone who lived alone and you know this person, you will get there and just ask if you can go to the super supermarket for this person. And so, and for sure, everyone did, not everyone, but a lot of person were just doing that. And some person, um, some people just get organized for bigger and further. And it happens in a lot of cities in France, in, in Paris, like it was quite big, in Nantes, in Lyon, and in, in many cities it was happening. Um, the people are trying, for example, to um, make masks. And I know that in Aubervilliers, which is a city near from uh, Paris, in the poorest uh, um, I can't, um department in the poorest region of France, where a lot of people um, lived, <clears throat> where a lot of people lived live, and a lot of people who work actually, who are who work in supermarket, who work in hospital, who work for the public transport, all those people are actually, I mean not all, but a lot of people are just living in this um, region and going to to work. Um, I know there is um, people who get gathering, who gathered and made masks and try to get cooperate to every each um, division of the work. I mean, for get the tissue to make that and to um, deliver it to people, and they are trying to do that are also. Um, longer as just the lockdown day they, they it's they gather themselves they they meet them and are trying to do that as a normal job i will say and it's it has been also a moment where the people really yeah find like self-organized in in many case um also people yeah doing some continent cont uh, content Like uh, getting the rest of the supermarket or the something and just get um, giving to the people. There are some groups which call Brigade Solidaire. Also, the, the term is not that good, but, and I uh, they are trying to, yeah, to get some solidarity <clears throat> to make sol solidarity guest just. Um, I know that it's 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 going further. I, there is also the case that in Montreuil, it there is this brigade, and they were uh, for the first of May uh, giving some food, and the cops came and they were arrested for like gathering, and yeah, it just like the normal way it happens. But there is, it's actually a very good moment to experience that and I think it's working in many many places um, also this idea of we are living in such a city system and we need everything that we actually everything we need we actually don't we can't have them right now so in and for the For the for the food, for example, it's it's such a big deal. Um, for example, in Saint Denis, the people were waiting hours for the supermarkets to get some food, and there is some fear that maybe it won't have uh, it won't be enough for everyone. And I think the people are just like 
really thinking, okay, that's our future and we have to get organized to do something else. And the, the question is like really, yeah, deep in our minds. And for it, I, I think it was all already the case, but like it's brighter. Um, it's getting a, a bit wider and mainstream, if I could say. And yeah, it's also not that. And in many countries, the, the, the virus actually showed quite a strong social division. So, you know, Macron could sit in his palace and eat from the mm. golden plates and stuff like that. <laughs> um, how strong this division is actually in France right now, how, how strong it feels. And does it provoke any kind of, uh, I don't know, outrages or violence or whatever, any kind of actions? Um, yeah, I mean, uh, now we saw that the people who were actually um, uh, working and keep the whole society, I will say, alive, I mean, is, as I say, the people working in the hospital, the people working in the supermarket, the people um, driving public transport, the people delivering things, um, which, by the way, a lot of them are um, women. And uh, it's funny to, to, to know that uh, actually right-left politic woman, Rachida Dati, said that the, um, the people who just keep the, the country alive are a uh, yellow vest. Les gilets jaunes are the people who are just doing this stuff. And that's now so obvious. Um, one, uh, one more, it's Saint-Denis was such, I mean, there is, it's also the rate, the, the rate are really big here, how many people died. Uh, also, because we know that people are not so, have, don't have any money to have bio vegetables or I don't know and some somehow are not so have not such a good um, health and are dying more than the other one and the yeah I think it's way more um, there in every mind that we know who works and who die and it's really clear But so far, the palaces are not raided, right, in France? Not not now. But as mm. I say, we, um, for the lockdown and all this corona shit, uh, there were three months of uh, um, demonstration and strike. It's really big, as it hasn't been then eight, uh, 68, I think. It was like huge demonstration, which... Uh, clearly um, protest against what's happening, that there is absolutely no money for the public health, for the public, like the school and so on. So it's not coming from anywhere. And it's just like the proof of what people are just protesting against. So I think it's like continue. It's, it's, it's continuing mm -hmm. anywhere. And... One of the other things that actually came quite a topic here in Germany, and I think a lot in the English-speaking area areas, um, is the topic of the rent. So people lost their possibilities for work, so they don't have income, they don't have income to pay for the food, they don't have income to pay for the rent. And the rent is kind of like this, starts to be perceived as a parasitic, you know, thing that... They, that people are not doing anything, basically, but they are still getting money, although the others who are working or lost their job because of the economical um, consequences of the, of the virus, um, they are actually the ones who are giving their money away. So does this kind of a critique or this kind of a concerns are present in France? Do people call, for example, for rent strikes or eat their landlords or I don't know, something like that? 
or kill their landlords and put them in the fridge. And, I mean, maybe. rent is you pay the rent the the house. Mm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> that we. Um, they were try. Uh, there was try to say to call for a strike rent. Um, quite a lot, but it doesn't work so much. Um, I think it works a little bit in Italian. I heard about, but in France, not. And um, they were trying, but it was a few, um, it it was a, a topic as well. And I think also in the um, popular neighborhoods uh, that the um, uh, the apartments could for some people you could the um, there was a delay that you could pay a little bit later like something yeah. they there were something but not for everyone and also like it was quite yeah, and not, anyway not, you have to pay later. yeah and anyway you yeah. have to pay i mean it was not so yeah, yeah it was yeah. here the same i mean it just doesn't make any sense yeah. i mean it, it was even better here There was a law that was passed that would forbid the landlords to kick out people for oh. the next three months. All right? So you don't pay your rent for three months, then three months are expired, and then, and then they figure out, oh, fuck, you didn't pay, so get the fuck out of the flat. But for now, we didn't reach the three months, so let's see. Not yet. Yeah. <laughs> and and the, the really nice landlords who are saying, you know, you can pay it later. It's like as if, you know, the, this logic that... Hey, let's take more credits in the times where I don't have money. Mm. So I would pile more debts to make it um, happen. This is just fucking crazy. It makes me think that I didn't pay my rent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I think it's a, it's, it should be like a really clear message. It's okay not to pay your rent. Yeah, yeah right. but it would be nice to have a community to support that support yeah, yeah, that you don't <laughs> lose you're your, doing a load. Like, totally, I totally. That you don't lose your flat and you live on the streets while others... Um, drowning in depths. All right, so we are almost done for today. Um, do you have anything to add? The people to the barricade? <laughs> people I mean, to the barricade, yeah. yeah. With your mask, but you have it anyway on the barricade, so it's perfect. You're yeah. just prepared. <laughs> totally. All right, um, thanks a lot for this conversation. Yeah. I think it was a lot of fun, kind of, and not only kind of. Um, the next show is coming in two weeks. We are going to talk about the country that doesn't have coronavirus um, called Republic of Belarus. <laughs> And we have a friend who will tell us what is going on there uh, with the people self-organizing when the state fails. Right. Stay tuned and um, stay cool. Le la mort. Moins que la solitude. Ce n'est pas un hymne à l'amour, plutôt un chant pour tous les morts La est liée, empoisonnée, pour tous les corps qu'on a violés Comme si le cul d'inhumation pour vos chagrins serait la raison De s'enfermer dans l'horizon, fermer les yeux sur l'horizon Que nos aïeux nous ont ouvert comme un estuaire Au mille combats, ils ont fini dans des charniers Pierre de marbre, certi d'une croix, ils ont crié la liberté Par les mots, par l'amour, la voix, la voix à prendre Est faite d'un doigt, celui qui pointe vers l'état D'un monde habité au métal pour trancher le doigt d'un voleur à l'étal couper la tête d'une femme sur la pelouse d'un stade injecter père pète un homme sur une table ou sur la terre sentir son être traversé par une balle ce n'est pas un hymne à l'amour plutôt un chant pour tous les morts Ceci est un hymne à la mort, une dédicace au sang qui coule Pour cette montagne de corps qui s'agrandit quand le temps s'écoule Écoute le son des cadavres, déchirant le silence dans leur chute Une pensée pour ceux qui partent en menant leur vie comme une lutte Ce n'est pas un hymne à l'amour, plutôt un chant pour tous les morts Manipulés, exécutés, dans l'espoir de la liberté Enfermés pour un poème, un visage ou une idée Combien d'esprits scellés pour de bourreaux décédés Combien de barons cédés face à la peur 
d'essayer Sommeil des hommes est-il plus sacré que la vie des vestiférés Nous on s'endort sur des lauriers En rêvant de tout oublier Se réveiller est prisonnier Des douleurs, de lassitude Dans une vie ressassée à contempler sa solitude On ne cherche plus la multitude On ne vit plus que par habitude Mais cette chanson n'est pas un tube Elle appartient à tous les hommes Qui par leur mort nous ont fait hommes Qui par amour croient ce que nous sommes So